I'm going to show you how to make this unique baseball clock using real baseballs. And um, I made a template. It's an 18 inch template. It's got 12 one inch holes in it. These balls sit on here. Here's a 20 inch by 24 inch board. And this is the 18 inch board that comes from places like Michael's. It's compressed cardboard though. Or you can use a board and lay our template over it and cut it out. Got my board here. It's gonna be kind of difficult to uh, one hand in shooting. Should be using a drill press. Hey, I made this template available as a free download in the description. You can take the file to an office supply store and have it printed. Or if you just want me to send you a printed copy, check out the description for ordering information. Boy, this stuff is just compressed cardboard. Got the 12 holes. Gonna wipe this down with denatured alcohol real lightly. Make sure it's dry. Don't wanna soak it, because you could get a chemical reaction. Go over it with a dry paper towel or a cotton cloth that won't leave, you know, little burrs of cotton lint, I guess. Now we're gonna spray this guy with the cream color paint. And then we'll use a stain. It's in that closet, we'll pick the color, probably that guy. We're gonna go this way, opposite the way we went before. With hope those pencil marks don't bleed through. I try. This is the third coat before we put the stain on it. And then we'll use a stain, coat the whole thing. It's gonna come off. We're gonna take the stain off in a couple of minutes. So we have our 18 inch board with the 12 holes. They should be in the right position, 12, six, nine, and this is three. Got this old bucket of balls. That looks like it's from the movie The Sandlot. It was signed by Babe Ruth. George signed this? George Herman Ruth, yeah. Some of these balls are really weathered. My son used in games. Going to take the first ball, put it into this hole like this. Take this washer on top and a screw with the screw gun. See that? We want all these balls just hanging slightly over the back. So let's do the next one. Let's do the six o'clock position one. Let's get another torn ball. Is the theme basically baseballs? Yep, it's baseball. Okay, that's it. Got a little piece of Gorilla Tape on here so this bit doesn't fall out. Let's do the next ball. I put this ball under here. We got that. Put this guy on. But when you choose the washer, make sure that the washer hole in the center is not so big. Your screw goes right through it. You know what? I'm going to remove this box on the bottom, causing shifting. It's getting there, right? Let's do the next one. Okay, how many do we have in there so far? Me and my camera person? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three more to go? Mm-hmm. 
I did bring 13 balls as one extra. This one gave me a hard time. It went to screw in right, so keeping that one out. So let's uh, put this guy in and this guy on top. Of course, it makes sense to get all washers the same size with the same size hole. But then again, that would make sense. So let's get back to this. One this more. Is one, right? Then we'll install the clock in a second, okay? So I need one more washer. Okay, this ball or this ball, camera person? Which one? Green or? Um, this one. That one? It's more rusted, dirty. Uh, I'm going to use the green one. We don't have much green on there. This one says diamonds. This one doesn't. Uh, that one's too clean. Use yeah, the other no, one. Gonna, no, I like the wording on it. I got four people handing me the ball. I'm going <laughs> to use this one. All right, let's put this in. Put this guy on. I'm really rigging it. This little guy. Your husband's okay. weird. All right. All right, turn this. Go where Mama is. Go wide. Okay, all these are in. All right, come up. We're turning this over. Our next thing to do. I like the this one and the rusted one. On I'm this. glad you do. Here's our 12 o'clock position. Okay. Now we're going to put the clock in from behind. And Poppy, I just realized how you know how that's a 12 o'clock position. Why? Because of the rope. You're right. We're going to put this through here like that. And then on this side, where it comes through, I'm going to lay it on it. And I don't know if that post is high enough. We have another clock. Let's use this clock. I think this clock actually comes through more. It has a taller post. Okay, there's our 12 o'clock position. So we pretty much want the battery at the bottom, right? That one comes through a little bit more, as you can see. Now we're going to put this rubber gasket on top. We're going to take this little washer, put that on top, and then this little nut. This is your hour hand. That's your hour hand. And this will be the minute, minute hand. hand. It's just, it should just miss the balls. If it hits the balls, I'm gonna to have to just to trim a little piece off with a wire cutter like I did last night. It was too long. You, know, you really want this center to here on this 18 inch clock to be 6.5 inches from there, maybe six inches. Put in the template that we offer, give us your email, and then we'll correspond with each other. And we got our seven 16 inch nut. We're gonna go around with a ratchet and Make sure I don't scratch the paint. Tighten this up. See if the clock didn't move in the back. Is it still at the six o'clock position? I guess, right? So let's kind of do this. We're gonna put this hand on. Put that at 12 o'clock position. Get it in there firmly. Don't bend it. Take this hand. This hand fits a certain way. See, there's like a rectangle. Sometimes a rectangle doesn't line up. Put that guy on. And now, there's supposed to be another nut that goes on that. And there is. It's right here. Make sure you don't bend your hands. They're like soft aluminum. You could bend them. If you bend them so that they hit each other, you can always, I guess you could just straighten it out. We're gonna test this to see if it hits any of the balls. That's why you wanna have precision when you drill the thing. And the last thing we're putting in is this little pin. It's got a little hole in it and it goes on the center, kind of like covers it. For the weight of this thing, it probably weighs 10 pounds and this rope could break. I gotta install this thing and there's enough room. I'm gonna remove this screw. Okay, we're gonna remove that, right? We're gonna keep the ball intact. Maybe get a little slightly different hole in there. Put this on top. 
Put that on there. This guy on that. And this in there. Make sure the ball's right. Look at this. See, now we can hang it safely so the rope don't break. And we're gonna move it to the 12 o'clock position. We're gonna put a 1.5 volt battery in there and we're gonna fire it up and see if it works. I'm excited. This is the first clock I'm making like this. There's not many that I've seen on YouTube or even Pinterest. All right, I'm gonna put the battery in. Plus is there, negative is there. Let's get it in there, okay? Of course, you can move the hands with this dial, right? And that's really how you wanna move them. Are they moving? I can't say. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so what time is it? It's 9.53 in the morning. Does that look okay? That's nine. And then we're gonna move to 53. 9.45, 50. Hey, the time is moving. 9.58. Let's move this back a hair. Cool. Look at that. Hey, I made this template available as a free download in the description. You can take the file to an office supply store and have it printed. Or if you just want me to send you a printed copy, check out the description for ordering information. Thanks. I'm going to be delivering it to my son today. And... He'll probably hang it in his basement and it'll be cool. So for Indie Tommy Tips, I'm Tommy. Today we showed you how to make a unique baseball clock. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share this with friends, give it a thumbs up, and uh, ring the bell so you get notified for our next video. Thanks for watching.